Hey guys, and welcome to Collection TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mel Dorado. To, um, he is he was released in 2012, and I believe got a re-release in 2014. That's all the years I can remember he was released. This video was a suggestion video, and this car was suggested to me by Aqua Strike. And um, make sure you check his channel out. Make sure after you get done watching this video, or you can go now, make sure you check his channel out. Um, I'll probably put a link up above. And um, the other thing I just thought I'd say before we really review him, I just thought I'd let you know that I also have um, Mel Dorado in package from the 2012 release for Cars 2. And he's very cool. Unfortunately, when I got this one in package, I did not make reviews yet. So, I probably, I'm not sure if I've done a review on Mel Dorado or not. And um, he was number 27 out of 50. Unfortunately, number 36 was going to be Rip Clutch Gonski, but never got a release. 36 is the only spot that was open, so technically there were only 49 cars released. We also have Miguel Camino, Lewis Hamilton, Carlo Maserati, Mel Dorado, Hudson Hornet Piston, Cup Lightning McQueen, and Race Team Mater on the back. Very cool. Mel, he is very cool. He's a 155 scale die cast made by Mattel. Very, very nice. And I just thought I'd also mention that my kind of rules for suggestion videos is that I will review whatever you guys ask me to, providing that I haven't already reviewed it in the last year. So you can like search my channel for the car you want me to review and see if I've already made a video on it. If not, you can go ahead and suggest. And if it, if there is a video there, make sure you check out how long ago I did it because my videos have really changed since I started back in 2013. So, um, so that's kind of my rules that if I've done it in, if I, if the video was posted in 2014 or earlier, then you can totally suggest me to review him and or another car, and I definitely will. I also thought I'd say I don't know why I'm moving him. He has a very similar body to Tex Dynaco and Dex Dynaco. As you can see, they're all Cadillacs. This um, Mel is a Cadillac Eldorado, and Tex and Dex are um, Cadillac Coupe de Ville's. We also have another Cadillac, but not really similar at all, and that would be from Planes. This is Cad Spinner, who's kind of the main antagonist of Planes Fire and Rescue. He's a little overscale, as you can probably see. I mean, but he has very sim similarities to a Cadillac Escalade. He's not exactly a Cadillac Escalade, but um, it's definitely based off of it, so I just thought I'd show that. Let's take a look at Mel on the turntable. Here he is. He's very, very nice. I really do like his color. I'm not sure if he is completely the right color, and the reason I say that, I'll show you in a minute what I mean. If you look at the package, he's kind of a bronzish color. But if you look at the car, he's kind of a brownish color. Not like this one looks really shiny, and the toy doesn't look exactly like that. But um, otherwise, he is very movie accurate. Uh, he is the talk show host for the Mel Dorado show and was interviewing Miles Axelrod. And very nice. He's got these glasses, which are not removable. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, he has the fishbowl license plate, I also thought I'd mention. Like many other cars, like Acer, um, Carlo Maserati, and I believe, was it Officer Murakami? Maybe? I'm not positive. Kimura Kaiza, I'm pretty sure has that. So a lot of cars have the fishbowl license plate. It seems like there was someone recently who has it, but I can't remember who. But I'm not positive on that. And I guess that's pretty much it. Make sure you tell me which Cadillac's your favorite. The first one released, Tex. The second release, Dex. The third release, Mel. Or I guess if you want to, the fourth release, Cad Spinner. Well, I'll see you next time. This is Henry Motor Coupe. Bye.